Michelle Ross is one of our clients in a fair housing suit against two cities that have engaged in old style race discrimination, trying to keep low income families of color out of their communities. In 2009, Michelle moved to Palmdale, hoping to provide a better education and safer environment for her children. I knew my neighbors, my neighbors knew me, we got along. Me and my kids got invited to gatherings. They came to my gatherings. But that changed when Michelle's neighbors learned she was a participant in the Federal Housing Choice Voucher Program, known as Section 8. Who had come to her home for Thanksgiving meals, stopped speaking to her, and stopped speaking to her children. And her children literally had the worst things that you can imagine happen to them because somebody else said how she paid her rent. They put me on a website, I hate Section 8, with my address on the website and said, this is where your taxpayer money is going. Mayor R. Rex Paris publicly declared war on Section 8. Section 8 is a plague on our city. I'm toying with the idea of putting up a billboard saying, do not come here if you're on Section 8. Housing investigators began coming to her home in a way that was designed to intimidate her family and to discourage them from staying in the community in ways that included having as many as 15 sheriff's deputies show up at the door with guns drawn, very visible to the neighbors. Everything just went downhill. My kids was called niggers, dirty niggers. I had a son that got urine through on them, walking to school. Sheriffs would pull them aside, and the first thing that they would ask, mainly African-American youth or Latino youth, um, they would ask them, is your parents on Section 8? Disturbing case of racial hatred in Palmdale. The people living in this Palmdale home were shocked when they found a racial slur scrawled on their garage. My daughter was leaving for school, and when we was getting in the car, we looked at my garage, and it had slanted all over there, I hate Section 8 niggers. It was unbelievable. We sat there for a minute, and my daughter turned around, she's like, Mom, can we please just move? There was a great deal of intimidation and a great deal of fear among Section 8 residents. And when we began this issue, they were even afraid to come out. They were even afraid to talk to the media. They didn't think that they would be safe at home after these multiple incidents uh, and after they complained to the authorities and didn't get relief. Public counsel and Ellis and the law firm of Aiken, Gump, Strauss, Hauer, and Feld filed the lawsuit in June 2011 to end the systemic campaign of harassment and racial discrimination by the city leaders on participants in the Section 8 program, nearly all of them black and Latino. Public Council stepped in, and that's the kind of legal representation that we need. I thank God for him because I don't know who else would have taken on this issue. Right is right and wrong is wrong. And if no one fights for it, it's gonna continue going on, it's not gonna stop, and it's not gonna get better. Kids shouldn't have to go through what my kids went through. The good news is that the settlement that we achieved has made it so that those kinds of awful retrograde discriminatory actions won't continue. I am as proud as I've ever been of anything I've ever done as a lawyer to have achieved that settlement for this family.